I like to introduce the channel to the 300 barbecue membership. It's not a lot of us. It's probably about 65 of us now. I think it's up to 67 when I checked this morning. Every video I drop, I want to make sure I put these guys and include these guys to show who's actually supporting this channel. As many people know, especially YouTubers out there, this takes a lot of work to run a channel. And the bigger the channels are, the harder it is. You got a lot of emails to respond to, a lot of comments to respond to that are good. You know, you got videos to edit, videos to produce. You got equipment to pay for. You got, you know, memberships and, and subscriptions you got to pay for. So these are the people behind the scenes really working to help keep this channel going, to keep me off the road so I can actually work on this channel. Because if I'm not working on this channel, then I'm on the road. And if I'm on the road that much, I'm not really working on the channel. But this is the membership levels right here that these guys are paying for. And a lot of them are actually doing vibranium. I got about six or seven vibranium people. So I appreciate you guys for the support. Much love and respect. Off my private client. About to pull out of the parking lot. What do we got? Ten bucks for that. I'll take that. That's right around the corner anyways. Let's see. How am I going to get there, though? Oh, I got to go south and then that way. Let's go pick up Mimi. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. All these cars run away right here. All right. So I'm going to cruise around the corner, pick up Mimi. Uh, then I'm going to start heading back towards my house. Ten bucks to go back towards my house. Can't be bad. I drive that way anyways every day. So let's see if these cars will move up so I can scoot over some. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Man, shit. Back up. Because I knew it, man. This damn old fucking small-ass car should have moved. I'm going to go down the street and U-turn. Nah. You know what? Fuck this shit. It's too much traffic. I can't do it. Cancel. It's way too much traffic. I don't want this ride. I'm just going to go offline. I don't have time for this shit this morning. There's way too many cars out here. <clears throat> I don't like driving in traffic like that because there's no way. I got to go north. I can't get out. There's way too many fucking cars going south. And it had me going around the corner the wrong way. So I'll get up north and I'll try this shit again. I'm going to end up turning this app on in a second. I'm in the third zone. I mean, I'll take a ride if it's north of me. Because right now I'm not in either lane. I'm not in the left or the right lane. I'm dead center. So I got to go north. And I can go north and pick somebody up. See, I can't go left or right. That's in the wrong lane right there. I'm in the center lane, so I can't go left right now. So that ride's not for me. It's for somebody else. I got to pick up something that's ahead of me. Let me see. Uh, $17 go all the way back to Tempe. Nah, that's too far for that price. $17 for 17 miles is not me, man. That's somebody else. You might want to try a black SUV for that shit. Pay those motherfuckers like $40 or something. Like $17, 17 miles? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. All right, so let me see what's up here. I could probably make it up to the $6 by the time they give me a ride ahead of me. Because if they keep giving me stuff to the left or the right, I just decline it and keep going. It's like it has to be ahead of me to give me some time to get over. If I don't have time to get over, there's no point in taking that ride. All right, now we got some movement going. See, that's why I like driving at night, man. There's less cars, less traffic. You know, it's not as, as crazy. And I can stay on my side of town. I just dropped off my private ride. So, of course, I'm on this side of town. Where am I at? Six dollars over here. Let's see some. Uh, Twelve dollars go that. Let's accept that. So I'm gonna get up here and turn on Camelback. See if I can whip around right here. Yeah. So I'll do this. Deja, pick up Deja. This is a quick twelve dollar comfort ride right here for about four miles, almost three dollars a mile. Hopefully. Because if traffic sucks, y'all know what I'm going to do. Cancel that shit and just keep it moving. I don't, I don't stress about that shit, man. It's like, it ain't my deal. If it's something close to me, I can get to it easy. If it's not, it's another driver got to deal with it. That's just how I keep my day smooth. Just did that drop real quick. And they're trying to send me rides like this. About 12 miles, $16. That's not the kind of driving I do. So I'm going to let that expire. Uh, I think I'm sitting on a $4 bonus right now. So just drop Deja off downtown. I'm going to sit right here because there's nothing in the area. Hopefully, it's got an airport ride. If I'll do a $15 airport ride if they can give me something like that. But let me see if I can sneak out of here somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to cruise out real quick this way. Man, I wish I could have went back that way. 
well, I'll go straight. I'll sit over here somewhere and kind of kick back. I wish I could have made a left instead of a right because I'd rather go back toward that 425 and sit down there. I'm headed away from downtown right now, but I wish I was headed deeper into downtown. They got a median sitting next to me. Otherwise, I could just do a U-turn and go back. But when they put medians all over the place, I can't operate how I want to operate in the daytime. There's too many cars around. So nighttime, I do median hops. I, I can cruise past medians. I can do U-turns wherever I want to. Do all that shit. Something like this, nah. $14 to 12 miles? Nah, I don't think so. That's way too much driving for $14. It's like, they got to give me at least like $22, $23 for that. $14 is not good. They're like $9 short. $10 for that? Mm, no, nah, that's like seven miles for 10 bucks. No, I don't like that either. Like I said, maybe that $12 ride will be the only ride I do this morning because they're not, look like they're not sending anything good out. I can go swing by the gym real quick, go home, eat me some breakfast, something like that. But don't look like there's any good, good rides out. That one was pretty good. Like I said, $12, bucks, $13, and it was a quick drop right down here. Like I said, it was only seven miles, so not too bad, not too bad. Could have did better, but, you know, it had a $6 ride bonus on it, so I was like, I'll take it. But now I'm headed back towards my house now, because like I said, I'm probably only about, shoot, four miles from where I live, so I'm gonna head, head home for the day, probably swing by the gym, work out, head back to the house, go grab me some breakfast or something like that. One ride ain't bad, one ride, I could do more later on. We got uh, spring training starting today, so I'll get out and do some spring training driving. This was just a ride because I was downtown anyways. It didn't make a difference. But I made my morning money with a private client. Quick 13 bucks on Lyft. What if? I'll do more driving later. Live stream. So I'm going to cruise over here. See if I can't make some money. Like I said, I already did like a quick 70 bucks a day. I was online this morning. Then I was online again. In, so two hours and 17 minutes. But I actually only drove about an hour and a half, an hour 46 minutes. And I did what, 28 miles to make 69 bucks. So I'm still, I'm sitting around about $2 a mile right now, pretty much a little more than $2 a mile. I got to get that average up. So I'm looking to do some real short trips tonight, grab some surge, do some really short trips and, you know, rake in some dough. I was going to head downtown because the surge looks a little bit bigger downtown. But downtown's a little bit further from me. Downtown's right over here. The surge is like around about 550. So it's pretty much equal. So I could just cruise right past the highway right here, drop into that $3 range. Oh, I'm good to go. Start collecting some of that dough right there. So let's see how this goes. Here it go already with the shit. Trying to get me to go in reverse. I'm not going backwards. I'm going north right now. So they kind of lost that opportunity. So I'm in a 375, but I'm close to a six. Yeah, definitely not doing that. $12 for like about 11 miles. No, I'm cool on that. 525 now. All right, I'm almost about a six. 11 to go six miles. No, I'm cool on that. Not even $2 a mile. Nope. I'm trying to get at least $3 a mile. If I can get three bucks a mile, I'm good to go. Oh, that's a good ride. I could take that one. And it has a stop. Oh, that's fine. All right. Hopefully they just... Okay, I'm going to go up here, pick up somebody from Olive, and then drop them off. All right, let's see if I can do this. It's about two miles, about nine bucks. It's about four dollars a mile. I'm getting up there. All right, let's see what I can do with this ride. Cardi did two real quick trips. This one has a stop. Yo, let's not do that one. I don't want to do that one. I just don't feel like doing stops tonight. I already had one that had a stop and the kids went to Canes and shit like that. Luckily his food was already ready, but it's just like, I'm not doing no more stops tonight. Cause these apps need to quit doing that shit. They need to set these rides up. If they gonna have us doing stops, they need to pay us more. Otherwise we're not doing them. Just how shit is. And that shit's irritating. Like it'll, it'll show somebody with a stop and you'll get there. Like, let me show you the one I had that had a stop. It was, I think it was this one right here. Yeah, so it was 10.33, so it had to stop. And it took me, it was supposed to take 13 minutes, it took me 18 minutes. And it was 10, 10.33, 18 minutes, an extra five minutes. I didn't get paid much for that shit. Look at that shit, 10.33. Wait time was $1.17 for an extra five minutes. So, yeah, we're not doing that shit. I'm not doing no fucking stops. Because if you're going to give me $1.17 and I'm just sitting there waiting on these people to be done or do whatever they have to do, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Luckily, I had a bonus with it because without the bonus, it wouldn't have been. It would have probably been a five dollar trip total. So it's like that's why I don't do these stops, man. Nope, I kick that shit out. I'm not even touching it. 
Let's see what Uber's got on the other end. Let's see if Uber's got something jumping on the other end. And I've only done a couple of small trips right now. I'm gonna go sit in the parking lot right up here. I just dropped this guy off at some apartments. So let me see, what are they talking about over here? 722 for about three miles. All right, let's do that. Don't look like it's a stop or nothing like that, so I could do that. But if it was a stop, I was gonna kick it out. Be like, nope, nope, don't do it. Don't do it, you're messing up. All right, I didn't have to open Uber up. They probably th saw me opening the app. I was like, oh shit, he's about to go jump on Uber. Like, yeah. Y'all better get it right, get it right. All right, that was another little quick trip right there. Like I said, that was, all my trips are like 347, 241. That right there, easy. 722 for like almost three miles. Not too bad. I'm still running about $2 a mile. I gotta get this, I gotta get it up a little bit because it's dipping too low right now. 35 miles, 96 bucks. Eee. I gotta get better, man. It's like two and a half hours, only 90, almost 100 bucks. I gotta... Start pushing. So they sending me shit like that. They keep trying to send me stuff to the airport because planes are landing right now. But just the price is not good. So I'm not taking no airport shit because their affairs are just way too low for me. They got surge up there. They got a few drivers. But with the amount of money they're, they're trying to make me do it for, it's not worth it. So I'm going like opposite direction, not doing it. See shit like that. I'm not trying to go no seven miles for no nine bucks. Like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Because you get down there, like I said, once you start accepting these dollar mile trips and shit like that, that's how they're going to treat you. They're going to start sending you that shit back to back, nonstop. So don't even start accepting it. Look at that. $24 for like all the way to Santan. You know how far Santan is from here? Like that's damn near 45 minutes of driving for $24. Like, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. We don't drive like that around here. Nope. So we do short trips, not long ones. Because if I was to pull up to that trip, I'd have to cash that one out. I'd be like, man, I'll tell you what, I'll do this thing for like $75. $8 for like six, nah, that's, nah, that's not good enough. And it's going far south, No, nah, I'm not cool. I need something that's kind of like, you know, two, three miles, something easy. They're gonna keep trying to send me, oh, there's a $4 trip behind me. I don't know how much my surge is though. I don't think I haven't got no surge. See, I ain't 250 bonus. Uh, nah, I don't wanna go backwards. That was 629 to go backwards. I don't feel like going. I'm trying to go forward. Because if they can give me something ahead of me, I'll take it. Something a little bit north of me, I'll take it. But anything behind me, nah. Anything going south, nah. We're going to keep making this money the easy way tonight. I'm down to 68 miles, man. Like, yeesh. I started this morning with 99 miles. 99. I'm down to 68. But I have $96. Because <laughs> I haven't went nowhere. It's like I was at 99 miles and I've driven 35 miles or yeah like 35 miles so far yeah about 35 miles so it's kind of adding a little gas a little bit so I'm down to 68 miles till I run out see shit like that $12 for like almost 12 miles no I'm cool so basically I've already made a hundred dollars off of driving 35 miles because I refuse to do long trips like nope I got 68 more miles to go. I could probably make another 100 off of what I got in the tank right now. Easily. Another 100. But I got to do 10 more trips. And those trips got to be at least... Let's see, $5 for that. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. I would have took it, but nah, I was like... One, I need I need more surge than 225 Because with that, they was, they was trying to give me like $3 to go three miles. I'm like, you know what? Do something better than that. Give me something a little bit better than that. $19 for a comfort ride. That's a go like 14 miles. Nah, we're cool on that. Where we going? 27 to go about 27. Nah, I'm cool on that too. Like I said, if people were tipping, I'd be doing it because this is what I get in tips. Look, wait a minute. $11 for 11 miles? Nope. Not, not, not. Let me see. I'm trying to show you my tips. Look at that. I only got two tips out of 11 trips. So I don't really take people. I, I rather just get my money because I don't trust people tipping. So if the apps are still in our tips, that's on them. And they're going to wonder why my motherfuckers ain't getting picked up. It's like, cause I don't get tipped. I'm getting basically 20% of my tips right now. So, and I know these trips are better than that. But if they want to sit up there and hold my money out, shit. I will not be doing trips. Will not. I'm at 450 bonus, so it's a little bit more right now. 
So I'm sitting in an okay spot. I just gotta make sure I get this money right. Get this money right. Two dollars for that. Who's that down here? Okay, let's turn this way real quick. Request a match. Except, I'll do that one. Seven dollars for Ryan, let's go. I like that trip. That was a good trip. This is about seven dollars for about a mile and a half. I could deal with that. I like that. Those are the kind of trips I'll be looking for. It's like five dollars to go like two and a half miles. Nah, I can get seven dollars for like a mile and a half. Let's do better. Let's do better. <laughs> They'll cruise me on all short trips, and this is the shit they trying to send me right here, which is laughable. I'm gonna go over here and park for a second. They're trying to do what's that? Almost 17, 18 miles for 19 bucks, and that's with a 450 bonus. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. I'm not going up the. I don't even like Paradise Valley, anyways. It's like you go up there, and there's a whole bunch of cops up there. And they got those damn speed cameras everywhere. So any money you make, you're probably gonna end up getting sued for it when they catch you with a speed camera. <laughs> You go up there and make 50 bucks and you lose 200. Like, yeah, okay. Okay, hold up for a second. Let's see what do I got. $13 for 11 miles? Nah, we're cool on that. We're not doing that. Then we've got still two tips, 13 rides, two tips. Like I said, they don't do it on Lyft, man. They don't tip you. They don't tip. I don't take long trips. There's a $2 tip right there and what, a $4.54 there? Yep, that's it out of all these rides. That's why I don't take no trips on Lyft. Don't nobody tip. So if I don't have a ride bonus, every single ride I do has a ride bonus. Without a ride bonus, I'm not taking a ride at all. I'll just turn my app off because don't nobody tip. So the only way they're going to get rides done, like $12 for that, nah, I'm cool on that. I'm not going no 12, no nine miles south for no 12 bucks because it ain't nothing down there. So you go down there, there's no surge or nothing down there. So I'll go down there and have to do like straight rides. So I'm staying in my region right now. That's why I'm getting all my search. All my rides are a mile or two and that's it. Like stuff like that. Nah, doubt it. $13 for like nine miles. Nah. And a stop. Nah. Nah. I'll kick back and relax for a while right here. Turn the app off. Relax. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. This is like, and it was slow night tonight. It was pretty slow. So for it to be like this. Uh... Nah, I'm cool on that. I'm not taking trips like that. Way too far, way too far. I'm just all the way up to Scottsdale for $11. I go up there for like maybe 15, but not no 11. Like I said, it's just too much of a hike up there. No guarantee with a ride back. And once they get you up there, oh, they're going to mess with you. They're going to have you up there for quite a while. So hopefully I get like, you know, a, a two mile trip, something easy around here. Other than that, nah, I'll just, I'll just kind of kick back and wait it out. But shoot, they got a lot of Waymo's cruising around. All the Waymo's are taking the short rides, but I'm taking the even shorter ones. And all the apps are like, man, we can't get this guy to take a ride for nothing. Nope. It's about midnight. I've been out since what? 10 some. I think it was 1030 when I came out. About an hour and a half. Yeah. This was not too bad. Not too bad. I've done a whole bunch of number short trips. Look at that. 326, 220, 347, 241, 508. Look at that shit. Way the hell up north? Nah, I'm cool on that. Doing no 29 miles for no $28. Like, nah, I'm cool on that. They're like, but what about a, a tip? As you can see, no tips are coming through. I'm not relying on tips. If the app is withholding tips, that's on them. That's why drivers don't do shit. Y'all holding these tips back so we ain't doing no trips for y'all. Y'all start releasing our tips, we'll start doing more trips. I'll do longer trips. If I'm not, I'm getting, you know, $15 tips, $10 tips. Because the tips are what the passengers give us anyways, 100% hours. So why are they holding money out? I don't know. But it looks like the surge is drying up, so I'm about to head my ass back to the house. It's midnight. Yeah. So I'm about to do my last ride anyways. Hopefully it'll be a ride going back towards my house. But no matter what it is, it's probably my last one. Because this shit's like getting garbage out here anyways. I did all right for the day. Let me see. I drove about... 40 miles, $110. So roughly, like I said, about $3 a mile, pretty much. It's about all I'm running right now is about three bucks a mile. So I want to get, if I can do $4 for the next trip, I'll pull me up a little bit, at least $4 a mile for the next trip. But like I said, I don't want to drive a ton of miles. That's not my thing. I still got 63 miles. Like I said, I started with 99. I drove 38 miles so far. 
and I've still got 63 miles left till I empty this motherfucker out. So that my gas just runs like that. Like I said, this thing adds gas. The lower the tank gets, the better the gas mileage is because I got less weight back there. So I started with 99 miles this morning. I'm down to 63. So it should have been, what, 36 miles. And I'm sitting right at 38. So it's, it's real close. It's real close. So, yeah. We'll see if I can do one more trip. Call it good. Made 110 bucks. Not bad, not bad. Like I said, you don't need a whole lot of gas to make a whole lot of money. Just got to be out here driving smart. $4, where is that at? Let's see where this is going to take me. That's going, it's $4. That'll be $9 for that. That'll be going back towards my house anyways. Yeah, let's try to take that because that's going back towards my house. That could be my last ride. If I can get that, that'll, that's going towards my house anyway. Because I got to go back where it says Contempo Tempe, and that'll be dropping me off right there. So, we'll see. Yeah, it's no longer available. They don't want me to go home. They're like, no, nah, we're going to keep your ass out. It's like, nope, I'm about to find a way out of here. I'm escaping the prison, damn it. Escaping the plantation. I'm out of here. I'm thinking about just start driving back that way anyways. Let me see something. $3. Oh, damn, that popped up quick. I think it's the same ride. They just don't want to give it to me. It's probably the same ride. Nobody wants it. They'll probably throw it to me in a second. Because if nobody has surge except me, I'm the only one that's going to take that short ride. And it's right around the corner from me anyways. A bunch of drivers are probably accepting it going, oh, shit, it ain't nothing. Kicking it back out. They'll accept it again, kick it back out. The app don't want to give it to me because I got 450 surge. So give me the ride. Let's get it over with. $4. Where's this going? Oh, I don't want that one at all. I don't want that one at all. Nope. Because that's about five miles. That's less than $2 a mile because it's about five miles and I'll be getting like, you know, a little over $8 with it. So. Oh, hell no. $18 for that? No. I'm trying to give me all the way to the airport. 16 miles for basically $14, $13 because 450 is the surge on it. So it's about 13 something dollars for all that. It's like, no, nah, I don't even want that seven minute one either. Like, don't even throw me that one because that's probably going east instead of west. I'm trying to go toward my house because I'm ending my night. It's midnight. I'm ready to go home. Give me a ride. Let's see what we got. And that airport ride was taking me further from home. Definitely wasn't taking that. I was like, what else we got around here? It's pretty much blank. So, yeah, I'm about to drive home with this damn surge on my phone because they ain't sending me nothing right now. And I think they had a game tonight up here because there was a lot of people up here. But, um, yeah, it's time to hit the road. Let's go. Start heading back towards my house. If they send me a ride. They do. If they don't, they don't. But that's the direction I'm going right now. Done for the night. I right, made a quick hunt and 10 bucks a day. Not a bad day. Like I said, I drove less than 40 miles. Not a bad day. They gave me one more trip. I'd be all right. But no. Gotta get my ass up out of here. I should go gas up, but I'm like, nah, I ain't worried about it. Because I'll probably drive tomorrow. I gotta do my morning ride, and that's it. I'll do my morning ride, and then from there. I'll probably park, gas up, and head back out. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But, yeah. Here and cook breakfast. Let's go back through all my Wednesday night rides. So, you know, I started about 8.03 in the morning when I did those. And I did, like, 8.03 to the 8.52. Did those three rides in the morning, knocked those out. I didn't make it back out of the house till about 5.30 almost. So, then I started banging out these low rides. These were some good rides, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they were, like, you know... Almost three miles, almost 13 bucks. I hate when I do that because now it's going to reset all the way back over again. All the way back to damn Wednesday. I hate when I do that. But, all right, let's not do that again. So here are all my Wednesday rides. As you can see, everything was short. You know, 282, 325. All of them had surge and tip. Everything had a, a ride bonus on it, 241, 347. You know, I don't do any rides that are too long. 220, look at those fares. $2.20 riding a damn BMW. Ride bonus, five bucks. Man, they be dropping these fares low. $2.20 for a damn ride in a Beamer. Crazy. 
377. So I was online that day for almost four hours, you know, bust out with 120 bucks. I was cool with that. Like I said, I, I do a lot with YouTube and everything else like that. And the people that are actually you know, supporting the channel, they're helping me. So I'm not out saturating the market all day and all night driving. I go out and make me some money. You know, YouTube covers me. The membership group, they cover me and stuff like that. You guys watching these videos cover me. So I don't got to be an extra driver out in the street taking all the money. I'm good making a little bit I can make with driving. Throw that in the pot. Come in, edit some videos, do stuff like that. That's why I enjoy and appreciate you guys for supporting me. Because I don't have to be out there all day. Some people don't have that option to do YouTube or have that option to work on cars and stuff like that. So just, just helping me and supporting this channel, you know, educating drivers on how to drive smart, doing short trips, not doing a wear and tear in your car, even fixing your car. This channel does a lot for me. You guys support me. I appreciate that. I'm doing what I can to give you guys something back. What well, is Thursday night, February the 22nd, what, 848? Today was my son's birthday, actually. It's 22nd birthday today. So happy birthday, Jersey. If you ever play this video, which you probably don't. <laughs> Just kidding. My kids don't like me. That's cool. But I got to go to the gas station to get me some gas. I'm about to run out, so I'm not working tonight. I've been driving on this same tank since last week, and it's Thursday. I don't even remember the last time I filled up. It, it had to be at least like Friday. No, Saturday. I filled up Saturday because I remember I drove all day Saturday. So I filled up Saturday, and I'm just now running out of gas Thursday the 22nd. This is crazy. Well, I ran out last night. This car has been sitting here all day. All right, that's what I just put in, 52 bucks, 13 and a half gallons. That, that was almost empty. Because for me to go that low in gas, usually I put about 11 or 12 in. So that was pretty low. All right, let me see how much I got in here now. Let's go over here real quick, see what I got. Whoa. Oh, here we go. 337 left. All right, let's get ready to go get it, y'all. Let's go get it. Gas station right now. About to look on Uber. Ain't nothing surging right there. Let's go back to Lyft. They got nothing surging over here. So I think what I'm gonna have to do when they got like a little eight dollar ride sitting right there, three minutes away. Let's see something. Oh, they gonna make me go online. These raggedy motherfuckers. I hate when I do that. If it's going to Tempe, I'll take it. If it's not going to Tempe, I'm not gonna take it. Yeah, it's not going to Tempe. That one's going the opposite direction. All right, I don't want to go that way. Um, let me cruise out of here real quick. Yeah, because I'm trying to go to Tempe because they got surge and everything up there. All right, $7 for that. Let's accept that. 7 Eleven, I'll take that trip. Let's go pick up Maggie. What's good, Maggie? Saggy Maggie. No, I'm just kidding. Let me not say that shit. That's kind of mean. <laughs> so I'm going to go pick up Maggie real quick. Get her up to her hotel. Looks like she's only going to a hotel right around the corner. So, 7 bucks. All right, then I'm going to head to Tempe after that. Quick trip, 7 Eleven. And like I said, that's 7-Eleven. I was 7 pounds, 11 ounces when I was born, and today is 222, the day my son was born. And I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's crazy. Man, $23 to go way down south? No, I'm cool on that shit. Cool on that. You might want to pay me like 35 for that. Well, I got a $6 bonus. Uh-oh, airport. They about to send me to the airport. Nope, they gave me a $2 bonus. Oh, they just had me at the airport. That's why they threw me 6 Ah, uh, $10 to go 10 miles nah i'm cool on that shit i don't do these little trips like that it's like it's not worth my time i'm going in the opposite direction anyways but yeah like seven pounds 11 ounces that's when i was uh, how much i weighed when i was born today's my son's birthday 222 so i love it man it's like and he turned 22 years old so he's 22 on 222 <laughs> a bunch of synchronicity and numbers man it's nice gonna be a good night i just feel it tonight's i think tonight it's only nine o'clock I'll say $175 night, $175, I'm going to drive about 40 miles. Let's say that. I'm going to do 40 miles of driving. I'm going to end my night with more than a quarter tank of gas, and I'm going to have a look. Oh, I even got a tip on that. Thank you. Thank you for the five buckaroos. They're pretty cool. Those are cool people right there. So, all right, cool. So, that's $12 right there, and I only went like what? Not even two miles. 12 bucks, not even two miles. That was it. I left the gas station, picked them up. I'm headed to Tempe. I was willing to take like a six, seven dollar ride to Tempe. Twenty-six dollars to go way out to BFE. No, oh, that's a Juan Vargas ride, man. That's his ride home. Juan, if you out here, I got a ride for you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, I want that ride. Yeah, that was that was an airport ride. They trying to grab somebody from the airport. I'm like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. See, they threw me that five dollars. They want me to go up there. Thirty dollars. Nah, oh, I can't do that. 
I would go and turn some of these into cash rides, but man, they're all nature hikes. And I'm trying to get the Tempe. They got a, a game going on right here. There's a game going on. I want to get there and do a whole bunch of short trips. And watching the Huskies versus the Arizona Sun Devils. If I can get up there and do nothing but short trips all night, I can make my 175 and 40 miles. I could do it. I could do it. I'm already at 12.11 and I went like almost two miles. I got 38 more miles to go. <laughs> That's my goal. Let's drive 40 miles tonight. Let's do 40 miles. And everybody's like, man, I'd be doing like 300 a night. Hey, that's that's how you drive. I don't want to tear my car up. That's how you drive. It's like, I love this car. If I can make $200 a day and I can go less than 100 miles a day, if I can get $3 a mile and I can go 33, 40 miles a day, I'm cool on that. Because like I said, I, I do a lot of other things. I got some repairs coming up also. Because like I said, this is the season when everybody's gotten their tax money back. So everybody wants their cars fixed. I'm the person they call. Like I said, you got to have your, your, your stokes in different fires, man. Like when ride share is sucking and these motherfuckers ain't paying right, I go do something else to make some money. You got to get used to that. A lot of people got their eggs in one basket. A lot of people don't do shit except ride share. And I get it because they don't want to do something else. And ride share is easy when it's going good. But when it's shitty, you got to bounce out. You got to do something different. You can't just rely on this because, like I said, they deactivate you at any minute and you put all your eggs in one basket. You ain't got no way to pay your rent now. You don't have enough private clients set up. You can't pay your rent. You're, you're mad about life. You can't do it, man. Me, I'll just open the garage back up and just start repairing cars every day. I can make, you know, easily in a day, I can make six, $700 a day. And people will be like, well, why don't you do it? You don't want to deal with people with busted cars all day, every day. Because motherfuckers be trying to get you to fix shit for free. Oh, man, why you got it? Can you take a look at that? See, $8 to go to the airport? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Cause they want to get me to the airport, then try to get me out of the airport. I already know what they're doing. Let me turn this shit off. $12 to go 12 miles. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Let me turn this shit off. I'm listening to me some music for a while. They ain't sending me shit anyways. All right, I'm back in the mix now. $11 for like eight miles. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. That's almost nine miles. I'm not going with that. I'll do anything like three miles, maybe something like that. Little short hops. Nah, five miles, it's going all the way back to where I just was. So I'm cool on that shit. Not been on nine bucks. Not going all the way back over there. Give me something short, you know what I'm saying? Two, three miles, I'll take it. But all these like nature hikes and all these little mini nature, nah, I'm cool. I just left that area. Don't send me. If you're going to send me back there, pay me like $20, I'll go back. And that's the thing. When these were Lux trips, I would take them because they were good money. These ain't Lux trips no more. These are all like lift trips now. So it's like I kick out a whole lot of trips because it's like it's not worth it to me. I'd rather just be where I am and do my small area. With Lux, you give me a nature hike, man, I'll make 60 bucks on that shit real quick. You, I could do a short mini trip, make $25 on a Lux trip. Now these is all lift trips in the same damn luxury cars. Like, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, y'all ain't playing me like that. Y'all want to sit up there and be like, oh, well, your car's not luxury anymore. To you, it's not. To me, it is. So... I'm driving this motherfucker. I let if you don't if I don't want you in, you don't get in. That's just how it works. I don't care how you classify my car. I classify money. So if you ain't classifying my money right, I don't give a fuck what you call my car. You can call this motherfucker a dump truck. I don't give a shit. Pay me right. I'll drive this motherfucker. Oh, you on a dump truck level. I don't give a shit. Pay me right. I care what you call it. You gonna pay me. You're going to pay me. <laughs> That's all I do know. Like shit, you ain't paying me. This motherfucker ain't moving. But that's an extra comfort ride. It ain't extra comfort pay. Fuck that. I ain't taking that shit. It's like, y'all gotta do something different, man. We gotta do something different around here. Get this money the right way. They sitting there trying to play us like suckers, man. I don't play that shit. Don't try to play me like no sucker. Well, if we just label their cars different and call their cars basic, we can pay them basic. <laughs> we got them. Yeah, right, motherfucker. You ain't got me. So if you ain't paying me what it's worth, this car don't move. This is how shit is. This car don't move. And don't get me to an area where it's popping and you ain't paying me shit. I'm going to turn something to a cash ride quick as a motherfucker. Be like, and I'm going to end screen record and just do what I do. You will see a video the next day. <laughs> be like, Jeff, why aren't you dropping videos a lot? Oh, you have no idea. Well, you probably do have an idea. But yeah, I'm not about to let them sit here and be like, oh man, we got you doing cash rides we cut we know exactly which passenger it was i'm sure you do that's why i just cruise and do my thing well, nine dollars to go back to the airport no nah, i'm cool on that shit because they trying to get me to go to the airport but it's like because they want to give me an airport ride and i don't want them rides they're shit 
they're all like dollar a mile, dollar fifty a mile. Like from the airport, you got to pay me like three dollars a mile, four dollars a mile. Otherwise, it's useless for me to even go there. I don't fuck with the airport. It's like I remember I did one airport ride. It was like 30, 40 miles one time. I got like fifty bucks. I was like, what the fuck? That's 30, 40 miles for fifty bucks. It's like, no, I'm cool on that shit. I'll do that once every blue moon. I don't make that a habit. It's like when I go back, yeah, I'll go pick somebody up, but it's gonna be, you know. A six mile ride, I want twenty dollars. I'm at the airport. Six miles. If you don't give me tips, I really don't do trips like that. I just leave them trips alone. But now I'm up here where I want to be. Where I want to be. I'm not doing that six dollar trip. I tell you that, because that's gonna be like probably nine miles. So I'm definitely not doing that trip. Airport. They got twenty five dollar surge sitting over there. I'm gonna start this car up. Jeez. See if I can give me a ride, take me to the airport now. I'm still sitting in Tempe right now. So hopefully they give me a, a ride to go to the airport or just give me a straight airport ride for $25. Let's go on Uber real quick and see what Uber's got. They give me a ride for $25 or, like I said, get me to the airport. I'll take it. Let me turn on Uber real quick. Let's see what they got going on over here. Dollar surge, you garbage month, man. And that's the thing about Uber. They, they And then they got $1.50 at the airport. Lyft is trying to get people to the airport. That's what they're trying to do. Like I said, it, $25. They only got seven drivers over there. Let's see what they got. Oh, hell no. Uber X shared? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. That's about 17 Nah. Here's some other trips right here. 16 for 17 10 for 10, 11 for about 15. Oh no, five for almost five. Man, Uber's, yeez. 15 for like, damn, that was way out. That's cutting around the airport. Nope. Man, let me get off of Uber. Uber's on some other shit. I need to shut them down anyways, hold up. Yeah, because ain't Uber has nothing out there. Just shut them down. Nope, not updating. They still be trying to send me updates. Like I said, they got, now they trying to go down a little bit, $23.75. Like I said, by the time I get over there, it'll be like $5, just exactly what I got now. Might as well just stay put where I am. They trying to get all drivers over there right now. They like, dude, get over there. Everybody get over there. I'm like, nope, I'm not giving up my position, man. I'm cool where I'm at. Give me a good ride and I'll take it. Otherwise, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Trip, now I got, you know, a surge sitting on my phone. I just picked up a guy. It was, I mean, it was. I had Surge sitting at uh, the uh, Jack in the Box, so I picked this guy up right here. This was the ride I did right here. I had to get around that fucking slow ass car. Yeah, so it was like three miles, ten bucks. So I picked him up right around the corner and then took him down. He had to stop at 7-Eleven. He had an order waiting for him, so I picked that up real quick. Easy shit, real easy shit. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to stick around at three dollars a mile. That's my thing. I'm trying to get close to three dollars a mile as I can. Just so I don't gotta, you know, drive like crazy just to make the money I wanna make tonight. So, what I'm, I gotta do now, like I said, hold up, I don't got no tips right now. I'm sitting in the surge zone right now. So, I'm gonna go up here and sit up by Diablos and Canes and all that. This is Bighorn Cab Spot up here. I'm about to go to Bighorn Cab Spot. I'm gonna go sit up here real quick, hang out by Canes, see if I can pluck some rides out. Like that $10 ride, I don't want that because I know where that's going. That's probably going far north. Or the far south. Ten minutes is not close. Hey, what about this $4 ride right here? Bam, let's go see if I can get that. Let's see if I can get that. Y'all match me up with it or what? I'm going to turn in these apartment complexes right here. If they don't match it up, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Except. All right, so all I got to do is just U-turn and go backwards. Wait a minute. Rule. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, thing. Go. So I gotta go and pick up Willow. All right, this idiot right here was sitting in the fucking lane. So I'm like, dude, you, our motherfuckers gotta learn how to drive over here. It's like, come on, please don't scoot all the way over because I'm scooting all the way over. Yes, thank you. That car is driving too slow for me. I be shooting through the gap, man. Fuck that shit, these cars is driving way too slow. And it's like, you only got so much time to get through traffic. And these cars be dragging their ass all the time. I'm like, man, you can't do that. You gotta move, man, y'all gotta go. 
That's why I like this little sweet, like little zippy car right here. Motherfuckers can't mess with me in this. They were like, man, dude's moving like you're damn straight out moving. Shit, if you don't get out the way, I'll move right over you, goddammit. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Thursday night rides right here. You know, I started out about almost 9 o'clock. You know, just kind of sitting around, scouting rides, seeing what was out there. You know, I did what? How many rides did I end up doing? You can see all these are short, too. You know, $3, $4, $5, doing all short rides. Passenger cancel, didn't get paid for that. They notorious for that shit. I don't get paid for no cancels. And a lot of people are saying Lyft is screwing people out of cancellation fees. I got tons of cancels that say zero on it. And guaranteed they're they're keeping these fees. Well, look at another one. Passenger cancel, no money for that. They do this shit all the time. They just jacking us for all these cancels. I'm going to go back to you one day and add up all my cancels to see exactly how many I've lost over the years of these motherfuckers, you know, not paying me. Look at that, $2.50 for that ride. Man, these rides are cheap. I was online for four and a half hours, 143 bucks. Not bad for a Thursday, you know what I'm saying? Knocked out 16 rides, and they're all short. Like I said, I don't do a lot of miles, so that's easy for me. I like driving like that. Time is now 7.25, Friday night, February the 23rd. This is where I'm at on fuel right now. I drove last night. I took about a quarter of a tank, went... All the way down to 245. So I made about let me see how much I made. All right, because I only did uh Lyft last night, I didn't do no Uber last night. So I made uh, let me go into activity about uh 143 dollars. Cool. So I made about 143 dollars on a quarter tank. So if I did that four times, that'll be about 560 bucks to a tank. So not bad. Well, yeah, yeah, because I and I did get up this morning to do my morning ride for 20. So really that that much gave me 163 because I got to count my $20 this morning. I didn't drive this morning, but I just went out this morning. So got to get ready to get out there. Let me see what my online, what my, all my drive time is. Drive time is about five and a half hours, 262, 81 miles. That's it, 81 miles. So I'm running over $3 a mile right now. Then I got 96% of the money they claim is coming to me when really I probably got shit 80% because you know how they fudge numbers. So I'm going to go out tonight for a while. I got to run by the post office, ship some stuff, took me a nap. Now it's time to go out and get it. Yeah, they trying to, that insurance shit is again. My insurance is up on March the 15th, so I got to post that. All right, I got that sitting on Lyft right now. Then, wait a minute, not that. That's on Lyft. Here's Uber down here. See what I got on Uber right now. Start this car up. Uh, any red in the zone? Uh, nothing real major. 450 over there. I'm actually going this way. I got to go over here near Rule and Southern. I got to go to the post office real quick. So yeah, let me go get this taken care of. Then I'm going to start my night. 730. And I'm probably going to stop at some point. Eat, hang out and shit like that. Then hit the road again. Tomorrow, Saturday, I got to do some stuff. So yeah, I won't be driving Saturday was slow as hell on both apps earlier so i went ahead and went back in the house i came out i've been driving since so probably around about 11. so i don't know when my first trip was but hold up for a second that's how much fuel i got right there it's three in the morning i used about a quarter of a tank so i'm down to half of a tank now but you know it wasn't too bad of a night actually i did $54 on Lyft. Lyft, I had it running all night, like two and a half hours, and I was declining more than anything else. They just, they were sending out just horrible shit all night, just horrible. Then I got, let me see, they said I got 98% of the fare so far. We know that's not true. What, 93 miles I've driven this week for 316 bucks, six and a half hours pretty much, so roughly around about 50 bucks an hour I'm running. Then I got, wait a <clears throat> where's uber at so uber over here i drove mainly uber tonight because uber was actually doing decent they were doing decent and i was like okay i, I could see that i could see that 125 bucks took me about two and a half hours scouting and everything else active time was probably about two hours a little less than two hours because i like i said they're sending out a bunch of just bullshit rides so roughly probably about 50 60 bucks over here an hour or two but they just keep sending out just garbage rides, just trash. And I mean, I was having some decent ones in there like earlier. Let me see, as you can see right here. Wait a minute, let me go down here real quick. Come on, thing. 
You see some decent ones right here. You know, thirty-two dollars, fourteen. That was a shared right there. Eighteen. You know, thirteen. So these were decent trips. They weren't too bad. I had surge on all of them. Six dollar surge, fifteen dollar surge, five fifty surge, four seventy five surge. One of them had a real big surge. Ten dollar surge right here. When that thirty dollar one, three fifty surge. So I was trying to get surge on everything I was doing. These were all real. These were real quick trips right here. Point eight and everything like that. But I don't know. Uber was doing better than Lyft was doing tonight. Ironically, but I was getting surge thrown on everything. So he's like I said, only I was only running around online for about two and a half hours scouting and everything like that. I think it still got me online right now. Am I online? Nope, not online right now. So they have nothing in the area, so I got them turned off. Tempe had a big event going, they were jumping like a motherfucker, but I just didn't feel like I did a couple of trips over there, but it was just too much. It was just too much. I had to get out of there. Traffic was crazy as hell. I was like, yeah, I gotta get my ass up out of here. I'm sitting on a what? 750 surge right now. I've been sitting on a 750 surge for about 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm sitting there eating a the crusty dusty like a motherfucker. And it's like, they ain't sending out no rides. It's three o'clock in the morning. I think they're done for the night. I'm about to head home. I'm sitting right down by downtown. I just got to drop over here. Where's that? Where's that? It's Contempo Tempe. Look like they got stuff jumping in Tempe and everything. But at three in the morning with not a lot of rides. Nah, I might just call it good. These were my, my Friday rides. I didn't start driving until, you know, after midnight. So it was about 1230 at night I started driving. And again, look at these little rides, 250, 265, all short rides. But I cannot believe $2.50. I mean, this is bus fare. Without ride bonuses, we ain't getting nothing but bus fare for these rides. It is crazy. And I guarantee these motherfuckers didn't give me no $1 tip. Not for that ride. They didn't give me a dollar tip. That's just what Lyft gave me was the dollar tip. But as you can see... You know, everything I do has to have a ride bonus. I was online for almost three hours. I didn't do a lot of Lyft because Lyft was just screwing around too much. They just weren't paying good surge. A lot of people did well on Lyft because they had the big concert. I stayed away from the concert because I didn't want to be messing around over there. I mean, I was still getting short rides, you know, 675 bonus, 850 ride bonus. I was still getting good rides from the concert, $9 ride bonus. I was getting good bonuses. I just wasn't doing long trips from over there. I was just taking people back to the hotels down 52nd Street and stuff like that. Picking up people from the outskirts instead of getting buried into that traffic and being stuck in there. All my trips were super short. Like this was one where I grabbed somebody from the outskirts. 15 minutes, four miles. I grabbed them from the outskirts of the concert, dropped them straight down. I mean, easy stuff. I was making sure I was not, you know, being caught up in no traffic at all. Let me see. There was another one in there, too. It was another idea like that. I think it was just 850 when the same thing. I grabbed them from the outskirts, like, you know, four minutes, not even a full mile. I grabbed them from the outskirts, dropped them off at their hotel right around the corner, too, because I just wanted to make sure I didn't get caught up in all that traffic. I mean, I wasn't even going a mile, making almost, you know, $12, not even going a mile. So it's pretty much you just you got to know how to work. it. You just kind of sit somewhere close to the area. You see where they're hitting you from. Like you can see where I was. I was sitting right there in the parking lot. They were right around the corner. Snagged them. I had what, an 850 surge or something like that. on. Yeah. Five, wait a minute. I don't even know where the hell. Here it is down here. You had an 850 surge on that one, and I saw that little short ride, so I plucked them real quick, took them around the corner. It was like, you know what? That's just how I drive. I drive like that. But most of my money was actually over on Uber, as you can see right here. I did the 125. I did that in about, what? Yeah, two and a half hours online. Just, you know, seven short trips, same thing. I just only do short trips. So I was about two and a half hours over there, about two hours over here. I was online for probably about four hours that night. Almost five hours I was online, made about 180 something dollars, you know, just seeing what was out there. Like I said, again, I don't do a whole lot of driving because I still got to do edits, YouTube, appreciate the membership group. You guys are always taking care of me. So, you know, I'm going to hopefully get some more video this weekend of the event and everything, show you guys how short rides are still working for me.